The materials you'll need for this project are four sponges, one piece of wood and a hot glue gun. For this project I'll be using a 20cm square piece of hardboard. You can use larger pieces of wood but I find that 20cm square is enough for one mould to fit on nicely. The first step is to flip over the piece of hardboard so you have the rough side facing up. Then get in each sponge and placing it in every corner, prepared, ready to be glued. Simply apply small amounts of glue around the sponge and place it back in the corner previously shown. When you've stuck down all the sponges, just flip it round, press down on the sponges themselves and just make sure they're glued securely. Now that we've made the sponge board, it's time to try it out. Get a scrap bit of newspaper and place it on top of the sponge board. This is going to be used so that when we scrape the mould, any excess materials such as plaster will land on that and not the top of the sponge board. Once you have your plaster mix, you're going to start by pouring it in the corner of the mould and whilst doing that, banging on the board. By banging on the board, it makes sure that the plaster goes in all the detail of the mould whilst pushing out any of the air bubbles to the surface. Now that the mould has been scraped and left to set, it's time to see the results. As you can see, there's no air bubbles on the piece and it's left a really good finish with all the detail kept. I hope this video has been informative and you've learned something from it. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe to our channel and like this video and we we'll hope to see you in the future. Thank you for watching and see you again.